and they're off. In Rocky's honor, veered out soon after the break, cost him a couple lengths. Here's Raquette is in between horses, Pernelli down toward the inside. Up and on the pace, Tis Nasty right up there now. And they pass us for the first time. Parnelli's the leader. Tis Nasty to press the pace from the outside. Raquette drops back and sits chilly while third is the move for the first turn. And then it's Mr. Jenny running along in fourth. Unitarian on hold while fifth. Followed by in Rocky's honor, Federal Agent and Supreme Commander. Into the clubhouse turn. And up top, Parnelli will be the pacemaker here. Steps away to lead by almost two. Tis Nasty gets a little nudge to stay a little bit closer. Running along in second. Raquette. Rating while comfortably down on the inside and third, and right alongside it's Mr. Jenny fourth. Then there's a break of two back to Unitarian, got it to the outside. In Rocky's honor, Federal Agent and Supreme Commander trails the field as they straighten up the back stretch run. And Parnelli out there now, increasing that lead. Parnelli opening up here by three and a half lengths. His nasty runs along in second. Mr. Janney together with Raquette, those two about six lengths from the lead now. Then Unitarian was about seven from the front with less than a half mile to go. Half was up in 49 and one-fifth seconds. That's a comfortable fraction here for Parnelli. Parnelli trying to do it all the way on the lead. Here comes Mr. Janney in a big way, and in a very big way, Unitarian is rallying. Sixth a moment ago, and now he's third as they move toward the top of the stretch. And then it's Tis Nasty who fades now back to fourth. Then Federal Agent on the outside, Raquette down toward the rail. As Parnelli turns for home, Mr. Jenny's right alongside. Unitarian third with one furlong to go. Parnelli still got something left after that soft opening quarter mile. On the outside, Unitarian trying to mow him down. Johnny Velasquez looking for a record run here with Unitarian. Parnelli trying to hang in there. Unitarian keeps on coming. It's going to be very close, and it's going to be Johnny Velasquez. 150 years of Saratoga history, and with Unitarian, he becomes the winningest jockey at Saratoga. Parnelli narrowly beaten.
And returning to the winner's circle is the winningest jockey in the century and a half of Saratoga Racing. Congratulations, John Velasquez. The winner, Unitarian, is owned by Robert S. Evans, trained by Todd Fletcher. Unitarian is a three-year-old son of pulpit from Minimalist by Dinah Former. The time was 154 and 3. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's go down to the winter circle for a special ceremony. Here's Richard Migliori. With this victory aboard Unitarian, Johnny Velasquez becomes the all-time leading jockey in 150 years of Saratoga history. And all the great riders that have written here. And to kick, kick off the celebration, I'd like to give it to Naira CEO and President Chris Kay. Thank you. Let's hear it for Johnny.
Johnny, congratulations on another great race, but on an even more fantastic career. We are so pleased for you, and we are so proud of you. And as a result, we're going to commemorate this special day with a plaque that will be seen next spring here at Saratoga with your name on it, Jerry's, and a couple of the other great jockeys that have performed so well here at the Saratoga race course. But that's for some ad ad additional day. For today, I'm pleased to present you with a gift certificate from our good friends at Prime Restaurant for $694. How's that a nice number or what? Congratulations and thank you very much. Well, it took a really good man to set the record. You beat Angel Cordero's record, Jerry Bailey, and now Johnny Velasquez has passed your record. Let's hear from now the second leading rider of all time in Saratoga, Jerry Bailey. Well, very deserving, Johnny. You know, I've had the utmost respect for you. I think you're the greatest rider in the game right now. But for those of you who don't understand the physical and as well as the emotional discipline and work that it takes to do this over an extended period of time, just ask Angel or myself, tremendous accomplishment. Congratulations. Well, now let's hear from the man of the hour. Johnny, this took a lot of work, a lot of dedication, obviously. It seems appropriate that it happened for Todd Pletcher, somebody that you have both risen to prominence together. Uh, first of all, yes, I, I definitely have to say thank you to Todd for all the support for throughout the years. I mean, since 1998, I've been riding for him, and, and this marriage still going. You know, you, normally, this doesn't last very long in, in the racetrack. Uh, First, uh, second of all, my family, their the support, with support, without them, I wouldn't be able to, to, be, uh, to be doing those. They, they, they do take a lot of sacrifice as well. The fans, the fans have been unbelievable. Thank you for your support. Thank you, everyone. I appreciate it. And let's move on to another number. <laughs> Very well said, Johnny. Every jockey wants to be leading rider in Saratoga. This is the place where all of the racing records is, are held in regard at the Racing Museum and Hall of Fame, which you are a proud member. What does it mean not to be just leading rider, but the all-time leading jockey here? Uh, it's a big number, I have to say that. I mean, but just to be named after Jerry Belly or Angel Cordero, the, probably the, in my eyes, obviously, I'm, I might be a little biased. I've been very close to Angel and Jerry. Probably it's the best two riders I've seen in my career. Um, there are probably all the people that disagree with me, but in my eyes, they're probably one of the two best riders I've seen in my career. Um, but anyway, I'm, I'm humble, I'm happy, and other way. <laughs> well, Johnny, now, now it's time to get started on the next grade one. You've got to mount in the next race and start working on 695. We'll try, we'll try to do that again. <laughs> Congratulations, Johnny Velasquez. The double three and six returns eighteen dollars eighty cents. Consolation double three and four four dollars ten cents. The pick three two three and six sixty five dollars. Consolation pick three two three and four thirteen dollars eighty cents. The exact of six and two returns twenty one twenty. The quinella returns ten dollars twenty cents. The trifecta six two and eight returns one hundred and ten dollars. Superfecta six two eight and seven two hundred sixty nine dollars. And fifty cents. The dime super thirteen dollars forty seven cents. <laughs> 